if nobody can serve two masters, what that actually means then is that we truly only have one. Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Sabbath School Study Group. I'm Chris Bailey. This is part three in our series of studying, managing in tough times. Today we're talking about priorities. Jesus was emphatic about prioritization in his ministry. And you see it all throughout the Old Testament, the emphasis, the drive, even the prophets were constantly trying to push the people of God towards one God, towards one master, because anything else was more than uncivilized. It was idolatry. Remember in Matthew chapter four, verse 10, where Jesus says to Satan, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve and him only shalt thou serve. The enemy, Satan, was trying to offer an alternative master. He was not trying to present dualism to Christ. He wasn't trying to get him to say, go with me and God. He was trying to say, I'm better, serve me. In fact, I'll give you what you're coming to die for. Christ said, no, that's not gonna work because I actually already have it, but I, in order to get them, I've gotta pay it by my blood. He, re he, he did not, he rejected that offer for an alternative God. Brothers and sisters, we can't serve two masters. So that simply means then that no matter what, we all only have one real master. That can be good news, but that can be scary. When we understand this truth, when we go now to 1 Samuel chapter 7, we see why Samuel says what he says unto all the house of Israel, saying, if you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you and prepare your hearts unto the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Do you see it? return, serve only. Only a deceived individual thinks that they can serve two, three, four, five masters. The way it works in our worship is that it only flows one way. I, 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 we can't have two hearts. The body is not pumped by two hearts and two hearts can't supply or, or fuel the body's blood. It's only one heart. In the same way, we can only give that to one God. We can't take that heart, split it in half. We no longer, that's not a heart. We have pieces of the heart that we're giving. And so when we see this, hopefully it awakens in us this desire to be like, wow, I really need to make sure that I'm only serving one God, even though in my mind, I could think that I, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and I'm doing the other. No, not in God's calculus. He only sees our hearts going one way. And he is asking us to let them go to him. And remember the whole point of this study is to how to manage in tough times. This is one of those ideas we really have to buckle down on, especially in the tough times, making sure that I'm serving one master. And if that master is the Lord, Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 39 says, as for you, O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, go ye, serve ye every one his idols. And hereafter also, if you will not hearken unto me, but pollute ye my holy name no more with your gifts and with your idols. Here, we see through the perfect lens of God's eyes that while we may think that we're serving many gods, he knows it's an all or nothing proposition. And when he was rebuking Israel through his prophet Ezekiel, he was letting them know, you're serving all of those gods and you've included me in this mix. That's not how it works. I'm one and only, not one of many. And so because of this, he was calling them back into that oneness. But as long as there was anyone or even a thousand other ones than him, that's who they and that's who we end up serving. So when we are facing a crisis, when we're facing a challenge, it's important to assess where is my devotion and remembering that that devotion is not being shared. By definition, that devotion is devoted. It's devoted to one. And it's our prayer and it's the word's encouragement that that one, especially in the tough times, would be God himself.